Hey there, you're sitting in a cozy coffee shop, sipping a latte. A friend walks in, looking a bit confused. Friend, hey, have you heard about Relay Bank? They're offering these amazing interest rates. You, yeah, I've seen their ads. But I was wondering, who actually pays for all those perks? Friend, good question. I guess it's just like any other bank, right? They make money off loans and fees. You, maybe. But it seems too good to be true. Intrigued, you decide to do some research. You head home and start digging. Main content. Understanding Relay Bank's business model. Relay Bank, like most banks, operates on a simple principle. They make money by borrowing money at a lower interest rate and lending it out at a higher interest rate. The difference between these two rates is their profit margin. Visual, a simple diagram showing the flow of money from depositors to borrowers with interest rates labeled. Key revenue streams. Interest on loans, this is the primary source of income for most banks. Relay Bank likely offers various loan products, such as mortgages, auto loans, and personal loans. Fees and charges, banks often charge fees for various services, including ATM withdrawals, overdraft protection, and account maintenance. Relay Bank might have its own set of fees. Investment income, banks can also invest their excess funds in securities, such as bonds and stocks. The returns from these investments contribute to their overall profitability. The cost of free services. While Relay Bank may offer attractive interest rates and fee-free services, it's important to understand that these benefits come at a cost. Banks don't give away money for free. So, where does this cost get passed on? Higher interest rates on loans. To offset the cost of providing free services, Relay Bank may charge higher interest rates on its loans compared to traditional banks. Hidden fees. While there may be no upfront fees for certain services, banks can find ways to recoup costs through other means, such as minimum balance requirements or penalties for early withdrawal. Data collection and sharing. Some banks, including Relay Bank, may collect and share customer data with third parties for marketing and other purposes. This can be seen as a cost, as it involves a certain level of privacy trade-off. The role of technology. Relay Bank likely leverages technology to streamline its operations and reduce costs. This can include using artificial intelligence for customer service, blockchain for secure transactions, and cloud computing for data storage. These technological advancements can help improve efficiency and profitability. Consumer Protection It's crucial to be aware of consumer protection laws and regulations that govern the banking industry. These laws are designed to protect consumers from unfair practices and ensure that banks operate ethically. Before opening an account with Relay Bank or any other bank, it's advisable to research your rights as a consumer. Conclusion So, who pays for Relay Bank? Ultimately, it's the consumers who use their services. While Relay Bank may offer attractive benefits, it's important to weigh these against any potential costs or trade-offs. By understanding the bank's business model and the underlying economics, consumers can make informed decisions about their financial choices. Visual, a montage of images related to banking, including people using ATMs, signing loan documents, and online banking interfaces. Outro. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time. Remember, when it comes to banking, knowledge is power. So, do your research and make informed decisions about your finances.